Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. I'm Ralph Mangum on the WHKY News, where it's time now for Community Focus. WHKY's Ariana Mack has the details on a new acting class at CVCC. Have you always wanted to perform in a play, take an acting class, or learn how to build scenery, have time during the day to take a class? CVCC now offers continuing education courses in acting, play production, or stagecraft. Each 16-week long course costs $180. All scripts, costumes, and materials are supplied per course. Acting runs from 1 o'clock to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays from August 15th through December 17th. This course provides an applied study of the actor's craft. Topics include role analysis, training the voice and body, concentration, discipline, and self-evaluation. Play production runs 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays from August 19th to December 18th. This course provides an applied laboratory study of the processes involved in the production of a play. Topics include fundamental practices, principles, and techniques associated with producing plays of various periods and styles. Stagecraft runs 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays from August 5th to December 17th. This course introduces the theory and basic construction of stage scenery and properties. Topics include stage carpentry, scene painting, stage electrics, properties, and backstage organization. Kim Stinson, Humanities Department Chair, said these continuing education theater courses are a great opportunity for people who have always wanted to learn more about acting or technical theater or wanted to have the chance to perform in a play. We teach practical skills that can be used in other jobs or can be used to help develop a career in the entertainment industry. If anyone is interested in learning for fun, we welcome them to create with us too. For additional information about the theater department at CVCC, contact Kim Stinson, Humanities Department Chair at kstinson at cvcc.edu. For more information about how to register course schedules or additional continuing in education courses, please contact CVCC Student Services at 828-327-7000, extension 4216. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. Meetings will be held in our area for voters who want to express their concerns. Rob Eastwood explains. The North Carolina Network for Fair, Safe and Secure Elections is hosting a series of town hall meetings across the state to address concerns regarding voting and to strengthen civil discourse. There are upcoming meetings scheduled in area communities. The Trusted Elections Tour, sponsored by the North Carolina Network for Fair, Safe and Secure Elections, the League of Women Voters of North Carolina, and Veterans for All Voters, aims to provide information on the electoral process, build trust in our voting system, and build support for peaceful political engagement. The 90-minute town halls will feature cybersecurity experts, election officials, and election law attorneys from both sides of the aisle. They will address public concerns about electronic voting machines and hacking, explain the secure process for collecting and counting votes, and advise on how challenges, recounts, and fraud allegations are dealt with through proper legal channels. Events are scheduled in Boone at John E. Thomas Hall at Appalachian State University on Wednesday, August 21st, in Morganton at Western Piedmont Community College on Thursday, August 22nd, and in Statesville at the Statesville Civic Center on Thursday, August 29th. All of the events run from 6.30 until 8 p.m., and they are free and open to the public. Reporting for WHKY News, this is Rob Eastwood. Thanks, Rob, and thank you all for joining us here on Community Focus. That wraps up the WHKY News. On behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, and Jason Savage, I'm Ralph Mangum.